Welcome to my new series, Send in the Clones, Episode 1, and Shading Launch Sequence. Oh, it's not doing anything. Ah, here we go. So, this is going to be my first launch. As you see, I stuck some girders on with some extra parachutes so that I can get this thing to survive. To try to do some science. And we've got Jebediah Kerman on board, which I wasn't planning to do, because this is going to be the clones, So I and this thing's going out of control. That's just great. Oh well, cut the engines, cut our losses. Well, I guess it's out of power anyway. No more fuel. And it almost seems to be flying as opposed to falling. It's very strange. Anyway, I'm going to try and get him to do an EVA. And whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, he just about took off. Anyway, let's get that science and get back on board before the whole thing goes... Oh, there we go. Parachute's open. And it's coming down. Yay. Anyway, I actually started recording this about two months ago when the... Uh, when the new NASA pack with the asteroids came out. And... Uh, now I'm finally actually editing the videos and putting some sound to it. I was too busy playing and trying to achieve certain objectives before I decided, hey, it's time to actually record something here. And here we go. So, our first rocket has landed. Let's see if we can get him out of here. Actually, I'm very lucky that I constructed it the way that I did when, when he tried doing his EVA and as Jebediah often does, let go of the ladder. Well, I don't know if I should say ladder. They haven't invented ladder technology yet, but he was holding on to something. Anyway, and he's back in there. Get a crew report from Kerman Shores. Well, we'll just get a whole bunch of science here. And time for him to walk the plank. Whoa, and he's off. There he goes. He looks like he's in some degree of pain, but while his, he's sitting down there, he can get surface sample and do an EVA report. Apparently, he doesn't think he needed a spacesuit. Sometimes I wonder how these guys survive without them. Kerbal's not so bright. Plant the flag. Dun dun dun! And of course you can't see it. Typical Kerbal. It went up. There you go. I came back. Even better. Jeb. That's it. Jeb. Okay. Way to go, Jeb. Well, he didn't go very far. Jumping for joy. Okay. Way to go, Jeb. We'll recover the vessel named Jebediah. And then we'll recover the ship he came in. Hello Ignition. Well, there you go. That's a great name for a for a rocket. Hello Ignition. We have liftoff. Oh. Time to spend our science points. Basic rocketry. Wow, we got a lot of choice there. Okay. And general rocketry. Ah, and this is the new rocket that we built. It's got some. Wow. Wait, I don't have. Oh, I do have a decoupler. I don't have the radial decouplers, though. Oh, 
Oh yes, here we go. Mods that I've installed. I've got the crew manifest on here. And this is going to show me what am I doing here? Anyway, I've got the crew manifest installed, which I'm going to use later to edit these Kerbals and turn them into clones, more or less, of Jeb, Bill, and Bob. Um, I was approximating their their uh, courage and stupidity when I was editing these guys, and uh, so I've got got the clones. This is what the crew manifest will allow you to do. Um, it also will allow you to transfer your Kerbals from one part of a spacecraft to another without actually having to make them go on EVA, which I'm really bad at. So that was one of the big things I was thinking about when I was making, when I chose it. Um, but the other thing is, you know, once I realized what you could do with it, I thought, well, I can just make clones. And then I'd send Jebediah, Bill and Bob, the originals off somewhere. Well, I did my typical, put them in a, well, couple a bunch of capsules together and then roll them out somewhere where they can stay out of trouble that's what I did eventually but me creating cr these clones is not the most exciting thing going on right now but that's okay that's okay I will create more later um, as you can also see up in the corner I've got Kerbal alarm clock installed I also have the Kerbal attachment system and uh, Mapsat, not that I ever used it. Um, the Kethane mod. And I think that's it. I'm trying to think. I didn't use all of them. But that's what was installed. Anyway, okay. Here we go. Fill the vessel. We don't want Devadiah. We want a clone. Let's send the Jebediah clone. I don't know why I just... Anyway. Okay. We'll send the Bill clone. Oh boy. This is way too exciting, I think. Alright, here we go. Maybe we're finally going to launch. So, I've got three liquid fuel rockets around a solid fuel booster in the middle, and then the next stage will be a liquid fuel rocket as well. Um, I think the main thing with those liquid rockets is that it, uh, they do have vectoring, so it gives some control to the rocket. Which means I really hope they don't burn out before the other one. That could be interesting. It looks fairly even. I guess if I thought about it, I could have tweaked it and and really tried to match them. But they seem to be doing all right. And he's going up. And he's um four kilometers up now still going I'm still going and the engines are still going no that solid one's going to burn out first hmm oh well not the most efficient design then I mean I could reduce the uh, the thrust on that one oh and I kick the other ones up to higher levels and it's still going 10 kilometers up do a little bit more of the gravity turn there I'm being ambitious trying to see how far he's going actually well he's going pretty far so far and whoa engine stopped come on do something do something do something I don't 
know that I've clued into this fact yet. Um, oh, and he's pointing at the ground too. That didn't help. Um, yeah. There we go. I don't think the engines are running anymore. Hmm. No, they're not. Okay, here we go. Next stage. There we go. Now he's going up. Now he's going somewhere. Hmm. All that effort, and I don't think he's going to make it into space. That's okay. In these early flights, we collect science. We learn things. We get new technology, and we move on. And he's going up. He's going up. And he's running out of fuel. And I should have just taken the monopropellant out. I keep forgetting to do that in these early flights. If you don't have any RCS anyway, there's no point in having the monopropellant in the capsule. Yeah, anyway. Although I guess it's not a huge, huge difference. But at times it could potentially make the difference between getting into orbit and not. Oh, wait. Wait. 62 kilometers. Oh, does he run out of fuel? Yes, he will not get into space this time. Oh, well. Um, if I'm thinking I could... Yeah, okay. He's rolling the capsule. He's tilting it. I'm thinking we're going to try to do the EVA trick again. with Hopefully without him falling off. Uh, do the crew report. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, here we go. EVA from upper atmosphere. You feel like you should get back in. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, hey, um, he's taking the data. He's back in. Okay, crew report from the atmos upper atmosphere. All right. So we're getting some science here. He's still heading up. Um, 62 and a half kilometers. Still not in space. 63 kilometers. And whoa. What was that all about? Oh. Trying to point him in the retrograde position. And this thing just likes to spin and spin. He seems to be enjoying himself though. Way to go, Bill Clone. He enjoys the spinning. Okay, he's definitely coming down now. He's coming down very quickly. Um, well, he's traveling at more than a kilometer a second. Uh, wow. Yeah, he's really coming down. Uh, and he's spinning. Oh, and now we got the re-entry effects going on, and he's only 10 kilometers up. Well, eight. He's okay. I guess I had the thing sped up, but still. His speed was showing pretty high. Okay, parachute's out. And five and a half kilometers up. Okay. Actually, I had the decouplers. I don't know why I didn't have it set to decouple. Oh, there's the moon. Or moon. Moon. One day. One day. Kerbals will land there. That's not a bad view at all. We okay, Bill Clone A1. You're gonna land in the water. And that's okay too. You should get a fair bit of science out of this anyway. And he's slowly floating down um oh okay I guess the fuel tank and the engine kind of exploded on impact but that's okay he's alive his capsules there we'll do some science oh yeah he's flying over Kerbin's water well done take all that data 
Let's get a crew report. Dun dun dun. Crew report from Kerbin's Water. It is wet. And splash down for the second time today. This time without a capsule. Take a surface sample. Scooped up sample surface. It's very humid sample. You hope the equipment has been properly some protected. I don't know. Don't think a spacesuit is entirely necessary. Well, depending on your swimming skills, it might be very useful. All right. So 11.4 science for him. And up some more. Up some more. Recover it. 19 science for up some more. 32 science in total to be spent. Yay. That is wonderful. What great things can we get? Stability? Maybe, maybe not. Survivability? That's always useful. Some landing legs, some parachutes. Oh boy. Radial decouplers, parachutes. Guess we're going for the parachute and the legs. And the more efficient engine. Well, it's more efficient in space. Won't get you too far without it. Or outside of it, I should say. Um, and, and, click! Click! Apparently I didn't want to click. I wonder if I was being distracted at that moment. Um, that tends to happen a lot. Oh, well, maybe stability. Okay, guess we went for stability instead. Oh! Oh, well. Anyway, that's it for the first episode.